It, this is Mr. Elmhurst with lesson five for subtracting integers rule. So we are gonna be able to subtract integers by simply changing the problem into addition. So we're just gonna practice one rule here. We're gonna keep the first number the same, keep the first number the same, change the operation. We're gonna keep, change the operation, and then we're gonna change the second number sign the second sign. So what is that gonna look like? Well, we're gonna keep the first integer the same. So this one is five, we're gonna keep that the same. We're gonna change the any subtraction problems. So when we have the minus sign in the middle, we're gonna change that to addition. But as soon as we change that, then we also have to change our second integer here. So when we take away negatives, we become more positive. So less negatives means more positive. So we're gonna rewrite this now. So instead of subtracting negative three, we are actually going to combine five and three. So on the model over here, so if we, we're gonna end up with five positives, one, four, five, and then also three positives because we took away negatives, so we got more positive. So one, two, three, and we're gonna graph them down here on the number line. So we're gonna need to go count the positives in the, the going to the right. So one, two, three, four, five. So we can draw an arrow to represent that. And then we also have three more positives, one, two, three. And we are going to end up, after we have five positives and we have three positives, we're gonna end up at positive eight. We do not change directions, there's no opposites. So our answer is going to be positive eight. So negative three minus five. So negative three, and then you take away five, so you're actually gonna become more negative. You're negative three, and then you're taking away some positives. So we're going to use our strategy, keep the first integer the same, so that's negative three. We're gonna change this to addition, and then we're gonna change this sign out here to negative. So there's no sign here, so we're gonna put in a sign over here. So keep, change, change. So add a line, change the sign. So now we can combine these integers. We have negative three and we have negative five. So now modeling it out, one, two, three, and then negative five one, two, three, four, five. Graphing it on the number line down below, we start with negative three. So we're at zero, and then we go negative one, two, three, and draw an arrow. And then we also have negative five. So we got one, two, three, four, five more negatives. And so we're gonna end up over here at negative eight. There are no opposites. We don't change directions with negatives and positives. So our total is going to be negative eight. Okay, so we're gonna go through a few more examples down below using our strategy. So we can subtract integers. When we have the subtraction sign in the middle, we're gonna use a strategy where we want to add the opposite of the second integer. So keep the first integer the same, so that's negative three, and we're gonna change this to addition, and when we switch this one, we have to do the opposite of the second integer also. So keep, keep, change, change, and so this was a negative, so that becomes a positive five. Subtracting negatives, if you take away negatives, 
you're less negative, which means you're more positive. Less negatives means more positive. It's the same thing. So now we have our two integers and we just follow the same rules that we've learned already. We have negative three and we have positive five. One, two, three, there's negative three. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. Positive five. Graphing it on the number line down below, starting at zero, we're gonna have negative three, one, two, three, so take our direction over here, negative three. But now we have positives. We're gonna change direction and go in the positive direction. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. We go here in the positive direction, five spots. So we went negative three and then we turned around and went positive five and then this is where we ended up. So because we changed directions and we went in opposite directions, a positive and negative, they canceled each other out. Cancel each other out. So now we are gonna end up in a positive side of things. And we can do zero pairs over here. Positive and negative, positive and negative. We got zero pairs. And now we're left with two positives more than what we started with, okay? So we had negative three, and then we took away five negatives. Because we took away five negatives, we ended up more positive in the end. All right, last one. So using our same strategy, we're going to keep the first integer the same. We're gonna, so it's starting with positive three, we're gonna keep that. And then we're gonna change the addition, uh, subtraction sign to addition. And then we're going to change this second integer. Well, there's no sign here, so we're gonna put in a negative to change it. So keep, change, change. We add a line, change the sign, and now we have an addition problem. So we have three and negative five together. So we got three positives, one, two, three, and we have five negatives. One, two, three, four, five. So plus minus, positive, negative, zero pair. So in the end, we're left with two negatives, negative two. And let's just confirm it on the number line with the last part. So we're gonna start with negative, uh, start with positive three. So we go at zero, and then we put down one, two, three. And then we have positive three and negative five. So we're going to end up negative here. Let's see, negative one, two, three, four, five. So that'll tell us how far we go. Negative five, and then yes, we end up at negative two here on the number line. So we had three and then we subtracted five so we had three and then we subtracted five, which was too much then to stay positive and we ended up negative. So the rule that we're gonna focus on and we'll have this in our notes is we can subtract integers by a little trick called adding the opposite of the second integer. So for example, negative three minus negative five, we can add the opposite and it's gonna mean the same thing as subtraction.